Hello mortals. So, humanity is kinda weird. How did we turn from cute little monkeys, to monsters that think the vaccines were created for customizing our DNA to robot war purposes? Also, what the hell Dominican Republic? In this video I'm going to explain to the mortals the history of pollution. First let's begin at minus 1 million. The humans have just discovered fire and were starting to control it. It was used to cook, produce light, heat cold humans and keep the mobs away. The humans lived with a ton of carbon dioxide inside their cave with no ventilation and think that was absolutely fine. Speeding up time with gems we go to minus 4000. This is where started the metal forging in China, Greece, and later the Romans. Metal forging is a manufacturing process involving the shaping of metal using localized compressive forces. Briefly, the creation of hammers, and later sickles. But these types of pollution are nothing compared what you're about to see. Until the Middle Ages and Renaissance. The burning of coal and wood and the farting of many horses made the pollution increased at lot. This seems like it's huge but it's nothing but CO2 going to atmosphere. And remember that at the 21st century there is 0.04% of carbon dioxide. If the atmosphere was the size of Russia, all the carbon dioxide compressed would represent the size of a small stadium. Speeding up time again we go to the Industrial Revolution in US and Europe that went from 1750 to 1850. During that time, humans invented the steam machine which used evaporated water to push and get pushed by a piston. This movement would help the train wheels rotate and thus work. Although they needed coal, a lot of coal, this made the pollution skyrocketed. Along the way to the 21st century, Humans have invented more efficient ways to kill the planet. So let's take a look at them. Air pollution. This one is referring to the pollution usual stereotype. Every time you look for pollution, you will receive the same pizza but from different companies. When humans burn sulfur or other non-metallic element resources they will combine with oxygen producing bad substances. One of them is called sulfur trioxide SO3. When it combines with molecules of water in the atmosphere it becomes H2SO4 sulfuric acid. This bad boy that lives in the atmosphere will become a liquid and boom. You've created acid rain which is going to kill some trees and animals. Light pollution. It is the presence of anthropogenic light in the night environment. This one is actually not that bad. So moving on. Noise pollution. AKA TikTok noise pollution is the propagation of annoying and not enjoyable sounds with ranging impacts on the activity of human or animal life. Most of them harmful to a degree. For example, when a airplane passes close to houses, nobody likes that sound, right? Or when you are in a gigantic traffic with a lot of impatience. Plastic pollution, it is the accumulation of plastic objects and particles in the Earth's environment. Basically it's the second most popular pollution stereotype and the worst one. However this one is that one that kicks capitalists right on the end. When people drop plastic it will dissolve in the water. The fish will breathe and the now microplastics will stick on the fish's meat and so it will contain plastic which is going to be eaten by people. Just for a comparison, if all the microplastics were sewed together, they would create a land area bigger than Alaska 100% made out of plastic. But there's still campaigns to clean beaches however they only exist in small scales and won't be enough. Radioactive contamination. This one is cool. Radioactive contamination is the deposition of radioactive substances on surface or environments. Alpha, beta, gamma rays and free neutrons make a certain volume or area infected. The two most well-known accidents involving radioactivity are the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan 2011 and the Chernobyl nuclear explosion in the Soviet Union 1986. 
Visual pollution, basically gray. Visual pollution is the lack of colors reflected by flowers, sky, and other things but instead have colors reflected from pollution like smogs, skyscrapers, intense industrial regions, among other things. And finally water pollution. This isn't just throwing plastic to the sea. It's actually completely smashing the sea's future in one shot. This is where the real bad thing happens. Throwing industrial waste and radioactive substances to the ocean makes it look kinda ugly. And so, don't make these kind of things that will only make our world look worse. Any external society would think of our planet as a complete BS. You can't destroy factories to help the world but you can subscribe to me. I really appreciate it and it's the easiest way to help me.